to figure out how to notification settings press everyone in here yeah there it is because my own notification box keeps telling me that I went live so like I know I'm live okay um, let's keep changing these materials around until we feel like it's acceptable See, the, the materials seem seem like they're having a pretty big impact on it. Like, he kind of even bounced right there. That was neat. Oh. Like, if I get too much speed going, I'll just fly right off the edge. He's gone. Let's do, like, a 1. 1.5. 1. On the ground there. I don't know what you mean. We'll figure it out. Oh, okay. So that's too much. try that and let's try this I think if it's a multi multiplicative it has to uh oh yeah I know what you're talking about I think if it's multiplicative then it, it has to be it will always come to a zero actually that's not too bad I want there to be like a little bit of slide just a little Make it like a two. And a two. And like a one. I think it has to be less than a one if it's multiplicative. Or he like can't move. <laughs> yeah. Let's go back to point eight on that, and then that can be a one. So one times point eight is still point eight. Maybe a little too much. So thrilled to be alive today. Yeah. Every day is a new day. I got a nice sunrise here for everybody in game to look at. So the ground is still way too sticky. Let's see. Well, the dynamic friction could be like a point. That might help. Let's try that. I think with multiplicative friction, multiplicative friction is too much. Yeah. There we go. We're dialing it in. Well, 
I mean, there's, there's, you know, there's pain and then there's life, but it's never good to, it's never really a, a good time to be in pain, but there's always a, a new day. And uh, every day, every sunrise is worth it. See, this still feels a little bit too slippery. Let's change this to a 1 and a 1.2. I just always remind myself that it could always be worse. If he falls off the edge, will it be heard? No. He will... Okay, let's... Hang on. Let's do a script real quick on this camera. Uh, that it'll just look at him. So... Oh. Add... A machine. Uh, flow machine. Actually, you know what? Let's just make it... State machine. Call it camera. Main camera. And then convert that to my other state machine. Main camera. Let's find out. Idle and walk. So this should just be like... Look at. Look at player. Convert it to... look at and then all right let's go ahead and edit this so we can get rid of all these don't need that and I'm just gonna say the camera oops Look at, transform, look at, target, world up. Nice. Oh, nice. We'll just use this one. Drag out some sort of life cycle for it. Maybe just an update since it's, or wait. No, 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 no. It's actually important. We need late update. The screaming on the way down. I don't know if he will. We'll find out here. Let's see. So it's just the camera and then the target is easily. Oh. Why doesn't it recognize this as an object? Oh, I get it. It would have to be a parent. Right? No? Huh. What's this one? Self target. Um. I mean, I could just look at the rigid body. Why won't this work? Let's let's make it a super unit and then I'll put it out there. Look at Let's 
do this. Player. down. It's not the fall that gets you, it's the sudden stop at the end. That's right. It's not the fall that gets you, it's the um, it's the acceleration of mass. Them, but it didn't. Oh, well, whatever. Here, how about this? Get rid of these. Wait. Maybe not a state machine? No, it has to be. same playlist. It won't show up in the assets. Hmm. Any drop from 50 story building might kill you if hit in the head. Can question says, I don't know. I mean, I think that pennies probably don't have enough mass to gain that much speed, but that'd be an interesting, like, Mythbusters or something. Because it's all about, it's all about mass in this game. Every game. And pennies just don't weigh very much, so they probably won't be able to go very fast. Now, here's the real question. How come I'm not walking anymore? All I did was apply a state machine to the camera. I could make it an embed. Come on. You got the 60 grapples? Good. I hope that people will start to redeem those. But currently, no one's redeemed any. Okay, let's do a main camera game object. Oh, 
This couldn't be easier. I think I figured it out. That camera? It's gotta be a prefab. It's the only way. I think. Main camera. It's there. Now I just need to... Game object, literal... Player. look at. We'll make it blue. The camera. Holding out for the t-shirt. I'll lower the price on those to something really, really cheap when I actually get them. And then I, I won't, um, I won't have them for it ever again, probably. I don't know. Well, this is good. The camera is moving with the player. So we can see if he falls now. That's cool. But, uh, it's weird. It's not really transform look at. Let's try this. We're getting progress though. T shit. Yeah, okay. Oh, and here we have it's it's actually following the player now. Oh, no, it isn't. <laughs> it's following something else. So, let's see if I can get into camera mode. What the? Oh. I don't need to edit it, but I've never seen that error. I mean, we can center the camera a little bit better as we go. Whoa, it's looking at my starting position. Weird. Target, game object player. Maybe, the, maybe I got these wrong? This goes here and this goes here? Let's just see what happens. Blushes wretchedly. Oh, oh, I did have them backwards for some reason because now it's totally following the player, but um, if I fall, it's just going to fall with me. I wanted it to kind of look at. So... Ah. Look at self-target. I don't know what that means. Oh no. <laughs> well, I made a first person game. I didn't know it, but. I don't think this makes sense. The target is the main camera? Phonograph editing is disabled on prefab instances. Does this break the prefab?
I think the late update is correct. So it's like the forest if the tree falls. Yeah. No, I gotcha. We're gonna make a whole forest soon. Soon we'll have a whole world to explore. I just have to figure out some basic things like movement and camera. It's gonna get really cool. So let's try this one again, because I mean, it doesn't kind of work like I thought it would. But it, it is working still. Let's continue to edit these properties as well. I think this must just be like a one. And then this can be like a 1.2. Yeah, much more responsive. <laughs> yeah, these blocks are probably my favorite thing so far. So if you get enough speed going, you can kind of roll up them. And then you can kind of ride them, and that could be a game in itself. That could be a game right there. Look at this. Just You got to... Well, you gotta get a little bit more speed than that. Just get a little bit of speed, and then you can kind of ride the block. The goal could be to get on the biggest block, or you ride them through like an obstacle course. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, I think we're done here. I think we're done here. Well, I am not done. And then let's let's just redrag this prefab back out. And overwrite the main camera. Hang on, you know what? I need a camera. That's what I need. Okay. Um bye. I mean, I guess we can leave it there for now. Let's just start new. <laughs> and do this. It's like I forgot all the controls when I went to Unity World. What happened to Bart? He's he's right here. Or the other one? All the others will be joining as soon as I figure out how to make them walk properly. But um, one thing I really want to do is... Can I add in TN Screencast? Um, a cube. Right? Makes sense. How do I center on the thing that I'm currently trying to view? Frenzy Wicked Truth has redeemed create an item. Awesome. It's actually the very first redemption. Align view. Center view to cursor, all home. No. Oh. P1 
view selected. Yeah, wait, what do I do for that? What do I do for view selected? There's no button for it? Oh my god. V takes me into paintbrush mode? I don't know. I mean, I love, I love Blender. It's just, I forget all the stuff. Forget all the stuff. A Cerrone, what up, homies? Put googly eyes on it. That's a good idea. Okay. Let's um scale it on the Y, on the Z. And scale it on the X. Maybe just scale the whole thing down a bit. And then, um, what it be's like, what it was, Ace of Rome. Okay, and then. Bear with me here, I'm normally in Unity, so. Uh, and then we're gonna do a mesh cube. And we're gonna scale it down. Like about like that. And then we're going to just take this in here and we're going to. Oh, that's weird. They're not aligned properly. Oh my god, it's so far away. That seems about right. Gotta feed the dogs. I know that one. I know it. Alright, so we go into edit mode and then we're gonna select face and just scale this down. Like so. And we could scale this down a bit, I guess. You see what I'm going for, right? And then we'll go out of edit mode. Something like that. Haha, <laughs> there's my camera. <laughs> um, but because I'm old school and I like stuff like, uh, like this, I'm going to just rotate it on the Z90. On the X90. On the Y90. Yeah. Oh, I shouldn't have done it like that. Hang on. Let's add a circle and then give it um, like eight vertices. Then we'll rotate it along the Y 90 and, oh yeah. Where's my circle? And then we'll move it up here and over. We'll have to um scale it down. Now let's apply a modifier to it of, well actually let's face it, or face it, and then apply a modifier of solidify. Oh, 
Oh yeah, this is cool. And then let's just make the thickness like a one. What's that gonna come out to? Maybe a little too much. What a 0.5. And then let's duplicate it. view with selected object uh, duplicate Then we could probably just make this just a bit. Just go into edit mode again and scale that down. That should be all right. Maybe we scale this one down. And maybe we scale this down. And this one down. Whoa. Aha. A surround. What do you think of my camera? It's it's uh super basic. Camera. Okay, let's uh, render it, see what it looks like. <laughs> it's just going to go in my low poly game uh, so that I can actually see a physical camera. Yeah, cartoony is exactly what I'm going for. Um, how many tries does this thing have? Twelve. <laughs> so, yeah, that's great. That's actually perfect. It says it's taking up 70 megabytes, but watch this. So if I just go to the zero, delete, oh, go at it, at it, delete the platform, the directional light, and the camera. Cube, cube, circle, circle. And then, is it J to join object? Or P to parent object? We'll go in here, we'll figure it out. Object. Uh, Long-term endeavor, for sure. And I actually just started my Unity game yesterday here. I'll go in this real quick and show you kind of what we've got going on. If you're new to the whole scene. So I've got my camera following my guy. And I've got a little bit of player movement going too, as you can see. And I'm, I am using a physics-based kind of... That's a little game, mini game right there, I think. I'm using a physics-based, so it's kind of a little bit work in progress right now. Take a running charge at it. 
Yeah, we got over it. Cool. Um, but how they look when they're in motion is actually, yeah, it's rigid body, is actually a little different. So here I have any input. It's actually sensed like this. So if I have input down, it, hang on. This is the better one. To, if I have input down, it says Boolean is true on set variable object variable of just, I call it input. And if I let go of mouse, then it says, okay, and it sends that to the output. So here's how that looks on a macro. Click, let go, enter, let go, space bar, let go, and then all my movement keys. But here's what my movement actually looks like. It's not too crazy, it's just this, it's not too crazy. I'm getting my axis of X for horizontal and Z for vertical. And then I'm getting the rigid body Y of self velocity, just like always, into the Y. Multiplying that by my speed variable for my player, which is a 4. You can see the little 4s. And it adds a 4 to the X and a 4 to the Y without changing the, or 4 to Z. That will come out to look like a 4 minus 4, 4 minus 4. And, uh,. I don't know why he's not moving right now. Anyways, you can see my movement vector is also being kept track of through the set variable object of movement. If I have all, if I'm holding W and D, it goes four four, and if I hold A and S, it goes minus four minus four. This is called bolt, by the way. Um, if you have not heard of bolt, stay tuned. I am. I'm like learning as much as I can as quickly as I can. Uh, also, the camera has a little bit of logic on it. Here we have in the late update. The Unity version of Blueprints? I mean, I guess it's, you know, I mean, yeah, kind of. I mean, there are definitely differences between them. So, like, uh, I know that Unreal's done Blueprints for a very long time. But even comparing, say, Playmaker, which is like for Unity, to uh, to Bolt, I think Bolt just does a lot more. So I was kind of confused on this. So my late update transform look at, and it's it's gonna just be the. I thought it was just the self because it says the target object. Oh, okay, the player. And the target is object to point towards. Yeah, so I thought it should be that the main camera is the target object and that the player is the other target object. You see what I'm saying? So I tried that, but it got kind of weird. It. Wait, what? That shouldn't. Because I didn't edit the prefab or what? Why would I be able to change those and nothing would happen? <laughs> oh my word. I was having an issue with the camera. UE4 takes a bit more starting knowledge or more time. Yeah, I mean, it's, hey, anyone making any sort of game at all, like, keep going. You know, use any engine, get your hands dirty, but, um, for those of you that are wondering, I'm on, I'm not on Team Unity exactly, but I'm kind of using Unity right now. So, just lucky you learned programming, yeah. Um, I've seen both in use, both are impressive. Honestly, I use Unity because most plugins tutorials are more user friendly. Yeah, there's a, there was a lot more starting knowledge out there for me. Which, if you are using UE4, that starting knowledge, bit more difficult to come across. You want to use UE4, but you'd only use it with the team to put it to full use. Oh, absolutely. And that's another important factor. Unity is good for small teams slash single person teams. Exactly. That's another important factor that, uh, you know, another important factor. I could go into the asset store and look for um, goat. Let's get a free goat. There's no free goats. All right. Um characters 
Animals. Mammals. Ah. Mammals. Okay. I can get this amazing golden tiger. Okay. This is really, really awesome. <laughs> it's actually really awesome. Where'd it go? Oh, no. This really awesome tiger. All right. Put it in. And it's from the un it's from the Unity asset store, but you could download it and it's still just uh, an FBX and all that. Um, the Tiger Unity, this is just a scene for Unity with the Tiger already in it, right? So you can get your Tiger and you can put that in Unreal. And yeah, in the Unreal asset store, you could put on any Unreal assets inside of Unity. So so what you can do oh you mean you mean like this oh hang on I have to log in you mean like this um, <laughs> and I'm not commercial, so I'm just using a few of their animations right now because, because heck, it's easier. It's, it's free for now. It's allowing me to move forward. But so you could take any of these assets. Well, maybe not these ones, but you could take, uh, do, 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 you could take any of these assets from the Unreal store. You could take them from the Unity asset store. And my point is, you could put them into either engine. You use the blue one. I actually use, um, it logged me out, obviously, but, um, oh, shit. But, uh, I actually use my Metaball. And that's why, right here, it says Mixamo Rig Hips. And Mixamo Everything Else is because, uh, I imported my little guy here into Mixamo. Is yours is male student <laughs> nice um so so you could take any of those assets and you could put them into either engine right and you could make an amazing game out of either engine or <laughs> you could make a not so amazing game out of either engine and i think that a big problem that unity suffers from is a lot of times people have been making those less than amazing games because it's a little bit more user friendly, which overall can kind of skew perception of it. But let's not forget, this is a fully fledged game engine that has all sorts of really powerful tools available to it, just like Unreal. So, especially since uh, Bolt's fairly new, but I mean, this stuff is oh man, it's just so fun. It's it's like uh, it's like this. I had somebody come in my channel the other day and say when I was doing my player character controller here I had somebody come in and say when I was doing this oh wow that looks interesting which is uh, I mean far and away it may not sound like the highest of compliments but it's just so much better than looking at a massive hang on C sharp scripts. Let's just go to images. It's better than looking at this. No matter what. I mean, it's it's instantly better. No matter what. <laughs> you can do anything. You can be in Visual Studio and have it like have the dark background and make it look really cool. Oh look, somebody's in Unity. Um but it's just still not you can make it look really cool in Visual Studio, but it's just still not out oh, there in Unreal. Nice. But it's just still not as powerful. I mean, it's as powerful. Or, well, it's it's like it's not as powerful of a, of a tool to reach people. People get turned off by code really badly. Uh, and some people that aren't coders just want to watch me build a game. But they don't want to sit through programming. And it's kind of unbearable if you're not at all interested in programming to watch somebody sit through hours and hours of code. 
feel like we got to tweak this material a little bit more. So the dynamic friction should be like a 0.8 on this. Also, with all the projects trying to join the trend of the current... Uh, oh, Battle Royale fad, yeah. Um, this may come as a surprise to you, but I don't play Fortnite, actually. I don't have it. Um, sorry. <laughs> sorry, everyone. So let's change that to a 1 and change this back to a, a 1 and just see what we get, I guess. I like watching programming, but not for the entertainment value. Exactly, and it's going to be really interesting when... Right now it doesn't look like I'm doing much, but I'm testing how quickly he can accelerate up and how quickly he can come to a stop. It seems a little sluggish. Let's just put that at like a 0.9. I had to make my own materials because, I don't know, I just had to. Um, I don't know how that's going to feel when we play, but I can always adjust the friction levels later. Oh, wait a sec, wait a sec, there's one more important factor. His mass is just a 1? I thought it was a 10, but that's okay. Oh well. I was hoping that the mass was higher and that I was just doing something wrong. Um, so I hope that this has been informative. Here's my little get time. By the way, it gives me a running clock in the debug. All I had to do was update debug log get time. Are you trying to get rid of that glide? Um, not really. I'm trying to make it feel like... Actually, here's the problem. So maybe it's the ground, not the players. So, so he bounces a little bit. When I first start to accelerate, it's very slow. You can see the transform here. And I basically can't escape it unless I start doing a second input. Which is why I just changed his speed to like a 5. But then... I have the problem of either the ground or the player are like too sticky. Maybe this can be like a nine. Because I think if they're one and one, they're not going to work. Let's try it. Dynamic friction of 0.9 should be better than 0.8. So now if I just move a little up here, I'll show up the player object variable of movement here. So now if I do my speed, it seems to work a little better. I think I just was moving too slowly for the amount of friction. Hard to give advice for this. I know that what would cause the issue but not sure if it transfers over into bolt actually this isn't really bolt at all i think it's mostly just the materials because so like if i were to take the well let's take the ground material off if i were to take the ground material off then you could see what would happen it could be the input So now he's kind of a lot more slidey for no for like no reason, but it's just because the ground is it's adding friction when I made that material. And so and those don't have it by the way, so it's only after you get on the ground here that you actually feel the friction apply. So now he kinda has it a little bit more. I don't know. It's physics based, so what can you do, <laughs> right? And I kind of, I wasn't sure if I should do that. I was like, here, here's what you do. Boop, boop, done. But that won't work. Because I'd have to change things in Bolt then. But uh, 
that's one way to solve the problem is to basically use kinematic and code everything yourself through through this you can code everything including gravity but i'm using rigid body see and i'm also doing um it's out here i'm also doing a add relative force if i wanted i could do transform dot wherever Um, you know, like a transform direction or something out of the movement variable. And can I convert this to a vector 3? Oh no, I can't. Um, Let's see. I guess I could always get it by just exposing it. So that will work. But, um,. It's not the most efficient way, I'm sure. But that works. And then if I were to have it do this instead, then it would for sure. If I take off gravity and use kinematic. Yeah, you can uh, just make sure it's like a screenshot type link to a website anyways uh the thing is that's not what i'm doing i'm doing i'm doing rigid bodies and so uh if also if anything it could be force or velocity change in here which is not a bolt thing it's you know a unity it's a c-sharp thing yeah imgur should be fine i use i personally use light shot i can just be like i gotta launch it i could just be like light shot and then i could be like this is my movement right here and then i'll save it and then I'm like, here, here everyone, did you know that you can use a rigid body and variables to make that? <laughs> so, light shot's the best, in my opinion. But is good too. You can use whatever you want. Oh, that's right, I don't think you can post a link. How do I allow that? Tell you what, just uh, PM it to me, and I'll bring it up in your channel settings. Oh, oh man, I'm so tired. I've been streaming since like 9 a.m. Oh, okay. All right, yeah, I have it here. Now, if I post it, everyone should be able to click it, so that should work. Oh, nice. Very cool. The uh, the second photo for the base camp, it has this. Uh, don't take this the wrong way. I, l I actually like it. it. Has this feel? It reminds me of Rust, where you kind of have these little random houses in the valleys, but then there's the mountains, and that's where all the that's where all the veteran players hide. But in the <laughs> in the valleys in Rust, you'll always see like a couple of noob huts. Um, these are actually really nice houses. I'm just talking about in Rust, you know. I like it. Actually, I like it a lot. Plus, giant wolves, a dragon, giant spiders. That's pretty cool. Are those your assets as well? Didn't model anything, but was placing things. Oh, well, that's cool. I mean, hey, I'm not the greatest modeler. I actually got to look this up real quick. Hang on. Uh, Blender joint. My word. Select both objects. Press Control J. Done. All right, we're out of here. <laughs> that was all I needed. Ah! I didn't even spell it right. Anyways, so now I export this as an FBX. It's my FBX folder. 
And we're out of here. Wait. We're out of here. <sighs> Let's add this camera in. Oh, nice. Look at that rotation. <laughs> oh, that's right. So th here's this, here's another thing to mention. So when you use Mixamo, if you apply a material to it, it does not allow you to keep that material, which is why my guy's just blank. But since I didn't send it through Mixamo, it just gave me like a blank material, but I could actually have really, I could make like glass details and stuff. Like I do know how to model decently well. And I'm using, um, just for funsies, I'll show you exactly what I mean. So if I go into edit mode and then say, oh, what is it? Extrude scale. Why is that getting super weird? And then extrude. What? Scale it in like that. So now, well, maybe. Ah. How about that? Still showing through. Okay, okay. How about this? So, go to materials. Oh man, just go to, just go to glass. And I kind of want it to have like a, kind of a camera feel. So we'll just say import those. And assign. Now let's add in a camera. How about just control C? What do I do? What is it? What is it? Align with view. Align. Active camera to view. Control alt numpad zero. That's it. Aha. It's been so long. So of course this will be pitch black. So what we'll have to do is get a lamp. That sun lamp's fine. Let's uh, rotate it. Actually, let's go over here. Rotate it a little more. Make that like a nice blue. And save it. Render. Go. Use Maya. All free assets. Oh, I made a mistake. <laughs> I made the whole thing glass. Anyways, you get the point. Wow, look at those caustics. It is breaking down in there. Okay, so this is actually a really easy fix. Go to camera, or camera. Okay. Let's just name this camera too. Yeah, this should be camera one. There we go. Hey, it actually looks like one of those things that I was trying to make. Okay. And then this one will be like a uh, plastic. We'll do glossy on all that. And then glass to that. Does that work? Yeah, it does. It works. Look at that. So, I mean, I could spend more time, right? And 
I'm going to, but that's perfect. So let's get rid of um, this lamp and this camera. Now it's centered out, and we can export it to FBX of camera. So now, let's delete that. Asset import camera. Aha! It has plastic and glass now. I don't know if it's going to work or not. There, certain color up there. But that's not really as important as my game. Refabs. Okay, that, that should be fine. Let's name this... I gotta take a break here soon. Main camera. Alright. Now let's set the position, zero it out at the player, and we'll go back to one, two, maybe something like that, and that should be good. Let's see what it looks like in game mode. Um, I think, yeah, I think I just have to add a uh, camera. So we'll have to rotate that. So this object should go on it. Oh my goodness. What? Alright, alright, alright. Camera. It's uh, on the player. Main. Um, Is there anything else? 
zero, zero, zero. One, two, three, four. One, two. There we go. Now, let's just put this on there. And look at that. It It's actually perfect. <laughs> and it looks kind of like it, too. Hooray! I don't know why it doesn't have my materials attached, but I really don't care. I think it looks good. Action! So now... I won't really be able to see it. Oh, hang on. Am I still on kinematic? Yeah. I would have been stuck on that so long later, trying to figure out what happened. <laughs> All right, and the camera, you can see it. I could move it a little further back, but it's moving with the player. Yay. So how we'll do this is make... I think something like that. Minus one. And minus one. Actually, wait. Just a plus one. Or like a point five. Yeah. Let's see if that still shows up. And now I can't see the camera anymore, so that's pretty much exactly what we wanted. But now if we wanted to see the camera... Try and add a. How do you add a mirror? Reflection probe. Bake to real time. Oh, no. Uh. On awake, every frame. All faces at once. Let's see if my computer can handle it. I actually know how to make really uh, cheap graphic-wise mirrors. Hey, now, that's not reflecting anything in real time. Actually, know a really cheap way to do cameras.
Okay. Now, all I have to do is have that camera look out, and then this doesn't even need a reflection probe anymore. It just needs... Target display 2. Hey, let me look this up. Possibly use textures that use the view of camera within the scene. Only problem is that it's only available on Unity Pro. <laughs> no. Create render texture. Ah. Ah, yes, hello there. Okay, here's, here's a mistake I made. <laughs> so just take a camera and then and then put it on there Okay. Will that work? Because if that works, that's going to be silly goose.
Come here, you. Two audio listeners in the scene. there. What in the world? I did anyways. How about a minus 90 to get it this way? And then for the camera, we'll just do a minus 90 as well. Nothing wrong with that. Except for it's not mirrored correctly.
Oh well, let's try it. <clears throat> so here's the problem. It's working fantastically, except for uh, it's not truly mirrored. <laughs> but there's my camera. Looks good. Just like we're racing, like you're chasing I don't know. Okay. Well, at least I got it back. I need a break. I've been live for two hours. So yeah, so the camera has to be pretty close to the ground, and like just back one, so that it can actually perceive the player walking up to it.
try and just set this correctly and then I'm going to take a break. Let's run it. Make sure we get no errors. Oh man. Looks to be working to me. Anyways, that's how you do light probes without uh, Unity Pro. It's not as good, but it is free. Alright everyone, thanks for stopping by. Actually, let's redeem this. I will accept a huge coffee cup redemption. Awesome. Alright, I think I probably ought to get up there and Get some stuff done. But, uh, thanks for hanging out, everybody. And be sure to check out the Discord. And that's where I'll be in the meantime. So I will see you guys again soon. Peace.